you've ever had a chipped tooth or a crown, you've looked at the expensive dental bills and thought to yourself, hmm, maybe I could do this myself. Well, 70% of dentists say they've taken care of patients who have super glued their teeth. What? Let's not, I mean, what? super glue. I'm, I'm sure that these super strong glues have some substances in them that you're not supposed Man. to put in your mouth. I think a lot of times they take, you know, especially now it's going to cost money, it's yeah. going to cost time, time away from work. There are so many people who are putting off their own surgeries and their own health because of money right yeah. now in the economy. Mm -hmm. And more and more people are becoming their own doctors, which is something you don't want to do. Mm -mm. Let me read one of the warnings on this. Eye and skin irritant. Avoid contact with skin and eyes. If eye or mouth contact occurs, hold eyelids or mouth open, rinse thoroughly for 15 minutes and get medical attention. <laughs> yeah. In other words, so, don't use it in your mouth. Ben is here, and this is not just an interesting little debate for Ben, is it? Because okay. you've actually... Uh, yeah, I have my front tooth uh, removed. Some guy threw an elbow and hit me right in my teeth. Oh. So, um, as you can see, I don't have my cap because I lost it, but I, I was using super glue. So, you'd to super glue the cap back on, and then yeah. if it became loose, you'd super glue it yeah, back on. Yeah, it would, on it would over last and over a day, again. and then if I had to go somewhere important and stuff or meet with people, and I'd just real quick super glue my glue tooth. We actually have Dr. David Keene, a dentist, who says this practice is a lot more common than a lot of us would think. And, and Dr. Keene, in your professional opinion, this is not the ideal way to go. Certainly not. The long-term consequences of the ingestion, it's, it's not necessarily known completely, but uh, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Caps and crowns can come off? They can, um, over a period of time. Perhaps the cement on a, a, even a great crown that's shaped properly can come off maybe after 10, 15 years, in which case you would replace it. If the tooth is not shaped just right to retain a crown on it, then the tooth and then the crown may in fact be subject to coming off prematurely and a little too early. So take a look, if you would, Dr. Sure. Keenan, at Ben's smile, because I can see from here there's, you know, there's a little... There's a gap. Yep, there's a definitely a gap it's there. A, it's, a, it's a small stub, and, uh, you know, um, a question, was the tooth shaped at all by your dentist? Or? Uh, yes, the dentist actually made it smaller, and it, was, it wasn't as bad as it is now, but he just shaped it, I guess, to fit the, the cap or... Right. Well, I think the specific moves and shaping the tooth properly to try to retain as much natural tooth structure as possible after it's suffered an injury is very, very important. And Ben, I have some good news for you because Dr. Keene has agreed to fix your smile for you. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Appreciate it.